Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Ali Ahmed. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says Kashmiris are being subjected to the worst violation of their human rights. President has emphasized on enhanced collaboration between Pakistan and African region in common priority areas. Supreme Court today resumed hearing into a case regarding extension in tenure of the Army Chief. U.S. Congress Judiciary Committee has invited President Donald Trump to its first impeachment hearing on the 4th of the next month. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says heavy military deployment in occupied Kashmir shows the fascist mindset of the Indian government's RSS ideology that has continued the siege of occupied Kashmir for over 100 days. In a tweet today, he said Kashmiris are being subjected to the worst violation of their human rights. The Prime Minister said the powerful countries remain silent because of their trading interests. President Dr. Arif Alvi has emphasized on enhanced collaboration between Pakistan and the African region in common priority areas of peace, education, health, trade, tourism and climate change. He was addressing two days envoys conference titled Engage Africa, organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Islamabad today. The president said Pakistan and Africa have several similarities and two sides need to work in close cooperation for achieving peace and prosperity for the people. Our communications with Africa must improve. This is a good step, therefore, to organize a conference whereby Foreign Ministry of Pakistan, the government of Pakistan, can express its directions, its goals as far as the African continent is concerned, to be able to share our narrative with the envoys here and our own envoys in Africa. We value the fact that historically Pakistan and Africa have been communicating at all levels in a very productive manner. He said two sides should enhance cooperation in defense and trade. Addressing the conference, Foreign Minister Shah Mehmood Qureshi said Pakistan is desirous of communication with African countries on the basis of mutual principles of progress and prosperity. Deeply conscious of the importance of Africa, our government has commenced the Engage Africa policy, which envisages concrete steps for practical cooperation. The envisaged steps include regular high-level contacts, increased government-to-government -government and business-to-business -business interface, effective instruments to promote trade and investment, closer parliamentary and people-to-people -people exchanges, and media and think tank collaboration for enhanced awareness of opportunities and positive image building. He said Pakistan's armed forces rendered services in many African countries for maintaining peace under the UN peacekeeping missions. The Supreme Court today resumed hearing into a case regarding extension and tenure of the army chief. A three-member bench headed by Chief Justice Asif Said Khan Khosa is hearing the case. Irani General Anwar Mansoor Khan is representing the government in the case. Minister for Maritime Affairs Sayyid Ali Haider Zaidi has reiterated Pakistan's commitment to international maritime organization and to the international framework for cooperation amongst the maritime nations. Addressing the 31st IMO Assembly session in London, he underlined that Pakistan could provide a new dimension to the international maritime trade by linking Central Asia, South Asia and the Middle East YC route. The launching ceremony of indigenously built ship Fast Attack Craft Missile 4 for Pakistan Navy was held at Karachi Shipyard and Engineering Works. Minister for Defence Production Subeda Jalal was chief guest on the occasion. In occupied Kashmir, unprecedented military lockdown entered 115th running day today. Though uneasy, calm and uncertainty prevail in the valley, yet life remains badly affected there as restrictions under Section 144 remain enforced, shops and business centers are mostly shut, and few turn up to educational institutions and offices. 
U.S. Congress Judiciary Committee has invited President Donald Trump to its first impeachment hearing on 4th of the next month. According to the Democratic Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Gerald Nadler, U.S. President could either attend or stop complaining about the process. The probe is looking into whether Donald Trump used the threat of withholding U.S. military aid to pressure Ukraine into investigating Joe Biden, currently the front-runner to be the Democratic candidate in next year's presidential elections. The 36th National Junior Hockey Championship will be held at National Hockey Stadium in Lahore from tomorrow. All provincial and departmental teams will participate in the championship held under the aegis of the Pakistan Hockey Federation. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.bk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan is official.